you know, sometimes when you edit today and you look at the context and you get them and people don't do context anymore and I don't like digital photography at all. Um, but when you discover that you've taken a good picture and that is the same as if you were an artist and you painted something and somebody came in and said, oh my God, that's so beautiful. Well, the fact that you did take a good picture. I think that's why I have on my wall, neither of you came to the apartment and it looks like I'm a real egotist because I have every picture of mine on the wall. And I have it there, I tell them, I do my class sometimes in the apartment. And I said, you know what, if you live with what you do, you remember that you did, I said, you have to live with who you are and what you do. And if you live with it, you walk out and say, you know what, I did do a good picture once. Yeah. Yeah, I did. And you have to live with what you do. I think that's what my pictures are in a strange way, is how I wanted the world to look and how I wanted people to look. And so when I take a picture of somebody, I always dream, especially living in L.A., that most of the people that come here kind of have dreams, so they wouldn't end up being here. Dreams for something, to be somebody. Or we get in the car and we drive around and they'd step out and I'd take a picture of them and here and there. You can't do that today because the city has been changed. I never worked for Deanna Freeland, but I was referred to her. When you photograph anybody, she said, make it sure, because there's nothing worse than a dead eye. And I said, well, what do you mean, what's a dead eye? She said, an eye is without a thought. And so if you're, pho an eye is without a thought. And you think of, even if you're being, you're listening to me now, there's a thought. If you were posing, there would never be a thought. And I thought, wow. So when I edit and when I photograph, I always think of what she said. And she was one of the, I thought, visual of what she did to photography, for photography in this country, with Bazaar and then Vogue into the Met. My God, did that woman have an answer to what it was all about. And it's about emotion. You have to get those people in the palm of your hand and you have to make them fall in love with you just for the time that you're taking their picture. And if you do, you can get a good, you know, but if you don't, there are so many people, and you know what I'm talking about, some photographers that come in and they do their pictures and, and there's no soul. To me, it was always an intimidation, a real, how am I going to, ooh. And I would make, a, make it happen. And I think that's why I, with my students, and I said, you have to make those people fall in love with you just the, the moment you're taking their picture.